everyone. This is Mindy and welcome back. I have something really different to share with you today and that is my mini art journal that I've been playing with. So mini art journals are something very new to me and I was intrigued to start one after seeing some videos from Vicky P. I will link her down below. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she does the most amazing mini art journals. To me, they are kind of a creative space to play, experiment, and maybe fall into some inspirational quotes and ideas that you can look back on. So for today, I am using the Autumn Splendor Ephemera from Gina K Designs. I will show you later on another page that I had created using a different ephemera pack. But for right now, this is the ephemera or the Autumn Splendor one. This was in a kit. So if you want the coordinating die, you would have to purchase the kit. Or if you wait a little while, the die and pack will be released separately. So right now I had die cut out all the pieces from the ephemera sheets and I'm just creating an arrangement of fall flowers and foliage. I'm looking at kind of doing a swag so that I can put it on my page. Once I kind of brushed everything off on the side and I have my arrangement the way I want, I'm going to bring in some press and seal so that it's going to keep everything in the same place. Now this was a pretty large piece of press and seal that I used, so I'm just going to trim off some of that excess so it's a little easier for me to maneuver and move this piece around. But this is gonna keep everything together in one place for me. Now I'm gonna bring in my mini art journal. So I have it held shut with a binder clip that I actually use to hold the pages down. And I will show you another page that I created uh, using one of the different ephemera packs. And this is also kind of mixing in some Tim Holtz stamps too on that previous page. But for right now, I have a blank page in here that I'm holding kind of flat with my binder clip. Disregard that paint on the other page. But now I'm kind of placing this onto my page and that's about where I want it to go. So to start with, I am taking some light lilac ink from Gina K Designs and just adding a little bit of that color to my page using a blending brush so that it's kind of a softer look to it. I'll bring my arrangement in to see if I need to add a little bit more ink to it and I can apply that now while I have my page kind of still free of everything else. Now I'm bringing in the Elegant Script background stamp from Gina K Designs. I'm inking a portion of it, just a small area up with that light lilac ink, and I'm going to stamp this down onto my page, trying to keep that as straight as possible. Then just gently tap that down, and I love how it's very scattered where some of it is fading off. Now I'm inking it up, and this time I'm inking it up vertically, and I'm gonna put this kind of down in that bottom right-hand corner. Next, I'm going to bring in a small stamp set. This is Just Add Color from Gina K Designs. It has a couple coffee stains on it and also like some swooshes of paint is what it looks like. But I went for this coffee stain and I'm just going to stamp this onto my page using that light lilac ink and an acrylic block. So stamping that a couple times on there, still using that same color. I like this color because it ties in to the colors of my arrangement. Now I had added some connect glue to the back of that arrangement. I'm gonna place this down onto my page and then carefully peel up that press and seal, but I'm gonna have to be very careful because things kind of wanna shift and move around a little bit, which is fine. That's why I liked the liquid glue because I can kind of just move that around to where I need it to be before I push down and really secure that liquid glue in place. Now, one other thing that I want to do is I want to add some splatters to this, which you could, there's so many different ways to add splatter to this, but I'm going to stick with that light lilac. So I squished a little bit onto my glass surface, added a little bit of water, but as you can see, the ink, it didn't, I needed more. So I'm going to come back in and squish down some more ink onto my work surface mix it in with that water, and then just using my paintbrush, I can add these splatter marks. Now, this design, it's all very heavily inspired by Vicki. She is amazing. She creates these amazing journal pages with very little effort. So I really loved being able to use products that I already have and create my own mini journal art page. Now, I could leave that page as is, but what I really like to do is pick some sort of inspirational quote or something that just sticks out to me, something that I can look back on and it just really resonates. So I picked this sentiment off of the beautiful leaves stamp set, I believe it is, and I heat embossed that in white onto black cardstock and then added that to my journal page. 
All of these supplies will be listed down below in the video description that I'm using today. I really enjoy working in an art journal lately just for experimenting, just to play, just to kind of have fun and not really think about the finished result. It's just something that I can look back on and be like, hey, I really liked that stamp set. I want to do something else with it. And even though I created a mini art journal page, you could certainly turn this into a card front too. I hope you enjoyed today's inspiration. I want to thank you so much for stopping by and see you again soon.